Today I have a speaker by Panasonic. It's a Techniques SBX5. The client feels it's a problem with the crossover. I have my doubts there. The speakers did have some common faults with them, and I'm going to go there and check that first and see whether it is what I think it is, but uh, I'm sure we'll get this thing working. Coming right up here on Tech Talk. Okay, I got a Technique speaker here. This is a uh, linear phase speaker at SBX. Five is a Panasonic Techniques. I've got music going into it. I have no sound. Nothing whatsoever. Okay, on the back of these speakers, there's the three circuit breakers. We'll check them and see whether the breakers themselves are tripped. Okay, open. That one's okay. And that one's okay, but the woofer breaker appears to be open. And that would certainly explain why we have no sound. Let's see if I can press this thing here. Okay, so this, this one here is kind of buggered up. If I, I got the probe on here, I'm just going to press the button. Yeah. Okay, this one is shot. I'm just going to put a jumper over this one and we'll see whether this thing produces any sound. I have a feeling that the reason that the speaker's not working is because this resettable uh, circuit protector is popped and uh, it looks to be a 1.6 amp. So, I mean, I could put a fuse across there or I could just bypass the thing. They're, they're really only there for people that are going to beat the crap out of their speakers and crank the things up. So we'll just put a jumper, I think this jumper is okay, and we'll turn on some power. And I've got this on the little Class D amplifier. So we'll see if we get any sound. There we go. We got sound. Now the proper fix of course would be to replace the circuit breaker on this unit but I don't have a circuit breaker for one of these and um, the chances of finding one for a speaker of this vintage are going to be slim to none. So for testing purposes, I'm just going to bypass the speaker, but what I will end up doing before the speaker goes back to the client is I'm going to replace it with uh, three separate fuses in there. Um, when I first tried it, there was no sound whatsoever. When I pressed the buttons, the actual mid-range and the uh, tweeter actually reset, but the woofer didn't, so uh, the breaker itself was shot. But if one's shot, the others probably aren't far behind. So what will happen on this speaker before it goes out is I'll replace the circuit breaker with fuses with pigtails that way if it uh, gets overloaded in the future at least there'll be some type of protection So this is powering this uh, little Class D amplifier with just 12 volts. To give it 24 volts and see how it sounds. So keep that in mind if you have one of these Techniques SBX5 speaker that doesn't appear to be working. Uh, yeah, it could be a blown driver, but it also could be one of those circuit breakers on the back, has, or one or more of those circuit breakers on the back has gone defective and that's what the case with this one here was I've just bypassed them for testing um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them or not I'll advise the owner of the speaker that I just bypassed the the circuit breakers um, that would never not normally be an issue unless somebody is really abusing the uh, speaker right uh, techniques at the time when these were made they put a lot of 
extra protection to speakers because people had a tendency to crank the crap out of them and uh, blow the drivers out. So they were trying to protect the drivers from low powered amplifiers. If you have a high powered amplifier, you're never going to blow the driver out. But it was low powered, like 40, 50 watt amplifiers that would drive into the distortion very easily. And distortion is what kills speakers. Whether the little circuit breakers on the back actually prevented any speakers from being blown or not, I think it's pretty unlikely because when I was servicing electronics, I would see speakers come in that had those circuit breakers on the back and the, the woofers were still toast from overdriving them. Anyway, uh, something to keep in mind if you run into one of these things and it doesn't appear to be working, before tearing it all apart and suspecting your driver is bad, check the circuit breakers on the back. I've had them before, that's why I went there first and uh, quite often that's the problem. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.